Parents who are essential workers and relying on child care are now wondering where their vouchers are. For months, the CARES Act money has funded the voucher program. But that money's finally run out. THR 11's Jordan Howington says the program has come to a halt and some parents aren't happy about it. My daughter normally would attend Boys and Girls Club, um, but because of the limits on the number of children that they could have this year, we had to find alternative care. For Sarah Mabry, that move cost her considerably more for child care, but for months she has taken part in the child care voucher program. It's provided full cost of care during the COVID-19 pandemic. Essentially, you know, taking the burden of having to come up with a few hundred dollars extra every month. But the program seems to be at a standstill, causing some disruption. At the end of January, DHS says they ran out of the CARES Act funding, and they still have not received funding from the COVID relief package passed in December. This funding is only contingent upon availability, and so because we haven't received that notice, our um, state requires that we have funding before we can spend money. So now daycares across the state are having to charge essential workers in full for child care. For Mabry's case, that's $500 she says she doesn't have. I'll have to borrow from Peter to pay Paul um, until the funding comes through. DHS says they are also anxiously waiting for the funding. When they do receive the money, they'll work with the more than 6,000 families they've already been serving. But DHS says with a larger relief package, they expect more dollars, which they hope will help more Arkansans. So we might be able to go longer and serve more families, but it is one time in nature. It's not going to last forever. In Little Rock, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. DHS following the goings on in Washington and hoping that that money will come down any day now.